We are Danforth strong, those words written here in Greektown as shops open again for the first time following Sunday's mass shooting. Some business owners I spoke today said that they knew today would be different, but it was important to carry on. In fact, one restaurant owner made this makeshift memorial after witnessing the unthinkable. What do you help anybody? Yeah, I was standing right there. Standing on the patio of his restaurant, Chris Christodoulou watched in horror as 18-year-old Reese Fallon was gunned down right next to her mother. I feel for the lady that lost her girl, and uh, I was right there, actually, yeah, when she was holding her head and uh, calling her name. So it, it was a tough... Uh, it was very tough. So he picked up a can of spray paint and wrote, we are Danforth strong on the front of what's soon to be his new restaurant. What do you think, seeing people putting flowers there and writing messages of love? Uh, the support of the community, uh, Torontonians coming together. It's an amazing feeling. This after two young women died and 13 others were injured after a gunman opened fire Sunday night along the Danforth. Witnesses say the shooter, identified as 29-year-old Faisal Hussein, zigzagged down the street, shooting at packed restaurants and cafes. Fallon and a 10-year-old girl died of their injuries, along with Hussein. I always like to do uh, white, all white flowers for, for situations like this. Looking to help any way he can, Greektown florist Giorgio Papadakis. He got the call to make these floral wreaths for the victims. He says he chose white for purity. We do funerals a lot and, and we do a lot of uh, flower arranging for funerals, so it's kind of something that, you know, you kind of become a little bit, uh, you know, used to, but still something on this, on this scale, it's just unbelievable. Just down the street, fans of the Danforth Young and Old pay tribute. This is a very important neighborhood to me and um, it's really hard to comprehend that this is happening. Hard for everyone, including Christo Dulu. Did it make you kind of be fearful of what life on the Danforth would be like afterwards? Absolutely, yes. Uh, it, it was a thought, uh, oh my God, why the Danforth? Uh, yesterday I opened the restaurant. Uh, I was debating whether out of respect or uh, uh, whether we should or shouldn't. And then I said, you know what? I went there and we wrote Danforth Strong. And then I saw all these hundreds of people signing their names in support. And I go, you know what, guys, we're going to open up. So many people out today, so many writing some beautiful messages, and many business owners hope it will stay that way, especially for the annual celebration here, the Taste of Danforth, which, by the way, runs from August 10th to 12th.